Welcome back! This camera sucks. It makes me look so yellow. I'm a Simpsons character. A fan sent me this artwork and asked me how he can make it better. And I was like, I need to do a line technique tutorial. I was going to do another critique video because it got 83,000 views. <laughs> but you guys, you got to stop sending me these 500 times bigger images for critiques. But if you send me the original PNG, I can draw on it in a video. If you want feedback, send your images to at Peter Milko on Twitter. So I think the design is amazing, but there's so much outline that it kind of makes the artwork messy. And I'll show you how to fix that problem. All right, let's get to it. So I got a sword here and some armor and they do look pretty good, right? They look good. The design is fine, but there's too much outline and it's on the outside and the inside and it makes it kind of hard to tell what you're looking at. It makes it a little bit messy and it makes the pixel art lose form. And in pixel art, I think form is pretty important. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just duplicate these, all right? Control C, Control V, pretty easy spacey. And <laughs> I don't think that's the same. All right, and then actually let me move them exactly underneath, right there. That's good. And let's get started with the sword. The sword's gonna be quicker and easier. So, right off the bat, I think that we can remove this middle black outline and make that into white. I think that makes the sword look uh, a little bit sharper. And it, whenever you put, it, put a line inside the middle of any object, it's going to make it feel like there's a corner there or a separation. And that's not quite what we want with the middle of the sword. So in the handle here, there's so much detail. Let's just clean it up real quick. Okay, so I cleaned it up and you can already see the difference here in the preview. And it is looking much easier to see the form of the sword, right? However, I still want to get rid of some of the some of the black that's inside of the object. So let's just go ahead and, and make it a really dark color. So you can still create outline, just don't use black. Reserve that for the outline. So here I'm gonna use this dark brown and um, still create sort of an outline for where the handle meets the, uh, the blade. I think it's called the hilt, right? Where the hilt meets the, meets the blade. And I'll just use a dark blue. And this way um, I'm avoiding using black, but we still get this really, really nice contrast. I'm one of the developers working on Dwerf. It's a tower defense dungeon crawler RPG that you can wishlist on Steam now. And we're doing Kickstarter next month, so keep an eye on that. Now for the tip of the blade. What I like to do to make swords look sharper, to make almost any object look sharper, uh, is I like to make the tip of it light gray. And this will make it look like there's, there's lighting. And of course we can um, go to the uh, alpha make it like halfway, so that way we can create um, a transition here. But if you look at the it preview, you can quickly tell that it looks like this blade is sharper. So it's okay to not use black outline everywhere, but use it just as an accent to show off lighting. For example, the blade is reflective, so it fits for the sword. So let's say here you drew a little block and you're trying to make it look 3D, right? I think that you can actually capture the form a lot better if you get rid of the black outline inside. I mean, look at that. It looks a lot more like a cube now, right? And then something that you can do to emphasize the lighting is that instead of having black all around, on the top of this block, you can actually go lighter. And now it looks like there's light shining from above. I go into this for furniture in my furniture video. So please watch the furniture video if you wanna see this effect on furniture. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the armor. Wow, this armor is cool, but messy, right? You, uh, the colors are awesome. It's awesome to use a lot of colors in pixel art, but part of the reason why using less colors is better is that it's easier to capture the form of something. So really quickly, I'm kind of going to do the same thing that I did with the sword, and that's kind of just like chunk out um, uh, colors. I'm, instead of there being colors everywhere, I'm going to remove some of the colors to make it easier to sort of see the form of it. And then we can go in and add highlights. So for the front here, if I really want this to look round, I need to highlight the middle and that's what I'm going to do. 
The original artwork did have some cool details. I might go back and add them in. But first, I need to establish the form. Always go back and add detail later after you have the shape of it done. That way in your head you can imagine it in 3D. If you look at the preview now and compare the two, you can see that the bottom one has a lot more form. The white that I added there, it's sort of just like a glare. So what I like to do with glares is I like to do a dot, space, double dot. And that makes it look like there's a couple of different kinds of reflections in that piece. By the way, the hat that I'm wearing, it's Panic Pop, my clothing line. <laughs> I made the top armor even messier so I could really hold my point in. By the way, if you like this sword and armor, I'm going to make it free for you to use in games. I'm going to add it to my itch free pixel art asset pack. There's a link in the description to all this stuff. Click all the links. Yeah. Maybe I should teach how to draw a whole bunch of weapons and you'll be able to use them in your games. Let me know what you guys want me to teach you next week and try to guess the canvases I got up. I'll see you then. Dev life. Please subscribe. Please subscribe.